Listener, people, on a pardon my language, please, you know I don't really like to curse because it's not good for the channel, but Noel, you fuck are you? <laughs> you think you're gonna get away with this, my youth? Huh? And to the Jamaican people and the other vloggers, bloggers out there who actually followed the story and brought real pressure, not those who were mixing up story and telling lies and all that forget views, the one them that brought real pressure, the ones who are actually standing by and doing their part so that this woman, the mom, can get some justice for her rascal daughter. This is what it does because for sure they were going to sweep this under the rug. Yeah, Jamaica Constabulary Force, y'all have a lot of cleaning up to do. There are many more Noel Maitlands within your ranks, and me know it and Uno know it, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Let's talk about the headlines. Cop boyfriend charged with murder in Donnelly Donaldson's case. That bomba wall should have been charged a long time ago, and him, all we, him almost got away with it. Y'all gave him enough time to fabricate and hide evidence, and the dummy still couldn't hide all the evidence, and still find enough to be able to charge him. But I'm sure that his attorney is going to do a great job and all this other stuff. It's not over yet though. And to my audience, I will let them know this ain't over yet. You understand? We've seen these things before and them go all the way to court and end up beat the case or even get found guilty, go to court, get sentenced and then later on get off of the case for somehow beat it on appeal or something like that. So keep your feet on their neck. It's time for real change. See? Cop boyfriend charged with murder in Donnelly Donaldson case. Shout out to the Jamaica Observer for this one. Kingston, Jamaica. Noel Maitland, the boyfriend of missing social media personality Donnelly Donaldson, has now been charged with murder in connection to her disappearance. Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey made the announcement at a press conference a short while ago. Bailey said that police theorize that Donaldson was murdered between 4 and 8 p.m. on Tuesday, July 12th. Remember when I told y'all that they have to come up with a theory because they cannot charge him for missing person because there is no such charge and it's not illegal for a person to go missing? Well, you notice how they said they theorized. So they came up with a theory now that she has been murdered. Obviously, they have found enough evidence to make them come up with this kind of a theory. This theory, they said, is supported by forensics and technology, Bailey said. May I forgive her? No, hold on there, hold on there. May I forgive her? I have to give a round of applause because them actually start the work. This theory is supported by forensics and technology. Now we're talking. We have not yet determined a motive. Hmm. What we can say is that she was killed based on our investigation. What we can say is that she was killed based on our investigation. So this right here tells me exactly what I said from the beginning. She dead. Okay. The girl has been killed. She is dead. I know our mother, I lose it right now. She's losing it right now. This is a confirmation. We have not determined the motive yet, but what we can say is that she was killed based on our investigation. Y'all catching this? He said that investigations will continue as the police search to recover a body. Now, wow, wow, that bomber hole still is not talking and he still refuses to give up where her body is. So you see what's going to happen here is just no say mommy I got no say him kill her because mommy know but she ain't gonna have her baby's body to give her a proper funeral right all right Maitland assigned to the St. Andrew North Police Division was arrested last Thursday on Duke Street in Kingston by police officers who were assigned to the counter-terrorism and organized crime investigation division Donaldson whose disappearance has drawn nationwide attention was first reported missing to the police on Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. They said that they're theorizing that she was killed on July 12th between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And that bomber will call the girl mother and I talk about if you don't see her or hear from her after I murder the girl. 
have you haven't you seen her or heard from her i work him at start work now you know he was starting to work now to cover up him tracks you know couldn't be me because she leave here after we argument and me even call her mother if we ask her mother if she get to home safe and if she hear from her or anything like that because it wasn't customary for her to just leave so me would i usually drop her over and me would i usually pick her up and bring her to me as well you your wicked naras donaldson whose disappearance has drawn nationwide attention was first reported missing to the police on wednesday july 13th 2022 she was believed to have gone to spend the night with constable maitland before she was reported missing hmm. there's a theory going on out there but i'm gonna talk about that in a second according to police reports on july 11th about 10 p.m she was picked up at her house by Maitland in a black BMW motor car to spend the night with him at the apartment that is located at Chelsea Manor. However, on July 12th, Donaldson's mother, Sophia Lugg, reported to police that she had not seen or heard from her daughter since. Hmm. And also that Maitland had contacted her asking her if she knew about her daughter whereabouts, if she seen her, heard from her or anything like that, trying to cover up his own tracks. Now there's a theory out there. See, a lot of people are leaning towards the baby mother, right? Who is also a police officer. You see how this woman refused to give any kind of statement? Hmm? May I tell you right now, say, I believe. Them can't assume if you what I believe. I believe that she actually has something to do with this as in probably after the fact she knows you understand i think she know i don't think she do it i think she knows what happened to donnelly so in order to not incriminate herself or by mistake incriminate the father of her child she made sure she went hush no statement given why else would a police officer whose name is calling up in a disappearance of an individual, which could possibly have been at the time, which now turns out to be a murder case, why wouldn't you want to give some kind of a statement to clear your name, even in the presence of your attorney? Yes, I will give a statement, but let me have my attorney here first. She straight up said no. Attorney or no attorney, me no have nothing for Satono. I don't have nothing to give. This is how me know. Them talk about this already, right? This man here... We're going to see this through, people. And when it comes down to it, I want to see all kind of something going. I'm comparing, still comparing the Vibes Cartel case to this case. And I want to see how far they're going to push this, what kind of sentencing is going to go on, how this case is going to work out. May I compare the Shabdan case to this too? I want to see how all this is going to work out, how they're going to punish him, how many years they're going to get, all this other stuff. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. I believe that if you are charged to uphold the law and you have sworn taken an oath to be on that side of the law and you violate in this manner involved in criminal activities you when you are caught should be punished to the fullest extent of the law if you want be a blood clot gunman go and be a gunman on a part my cousin me just overly emotional right now because i look at this late this girl this young girl i have two daughters on my own so i know i'll be losing my friggin mind i know i'll be putting i'll be doing all kinds of stuff right if you want to be gunman go be gunman if you want to be police, go be police. But this is the frig up thing that Jamaican citizens have had to be dealing with for the longest. Majority of the good, tax-paying, law-abiding citizens don't know where to turn and who to turn to. Because them not trust none of the police them. Even the good one them get thrown in with the bad ones. You understand? And because of that is why the place is like it is when it comes to certain things. Call Jamaica nice, eh? You know, so foreigners just run down with place and can't get enough of with place, with culture, with vibes and everything. And look how them are pile it up. You who are sworn to protect and to serve, you should be punished to the fullest extent of the law and then some. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Noel Maitland has been charged with the murder of Donna Lee Donaldson. I'm going to listen to this again carefully. Okay. Mr. Bailey said that we have not yet determined a motive. But what we can say. In, in other words. We have not yet determined why I'm killer. Him not tell me why I'm killer. And we don't know why. But what we know is that she was killed. 
based on our investigation. Investigation that is backed up by forensics. Them find the couch? I don't know. The couch bloody? I don't know. Whatever went on that made them find forensics that tell them that she was killed and this is no longer just a missing person's case, we will find out later on. All right? Keep the foot on their necks. Make them do right. This is called people power. I'll catch you on, on the next video. I just had to stop by real quick for giving you this. I'm out. Peace. Guys, so we're good to go. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to Keegan's Kitchen. All right, guys, let's take a minute to acknowledge this channel right here, a professional chef, also a member of the USPCA. That's the United States Personal Chef Association, oh my Chef God. Keegan. Keegan's my Kitchen farm is, is the channel's good. name. I want so you to good. go over there and subscribe to that channel and help that brother to get his channel to grow. He is certified in what he does. He is a professional, personal chef. And good God, his food shows it. His preparation style shows it. Don't take my word for it. Head on over to Keegan's Kitchen. Hit that subscribe button. Tell him SoFlow TV sent you. Back to our regular scheduled program at hand.